Hey Vanessa, it's Brody from Civic Toyota in Cairns. Just here to give you a quick virtual tour on our 2020 Mazda BT50. Now just before I jump into it, I'll just tell you a little bit about ourselves. Sorry if the wind is uh, making it a bit hard to hear, but I'll try and speak up for you. Uh, we have two used vehicle lots here in Cairns. One here at 77 Mulgrave Road, and the other one at 235 Mulgrave Road, about two kilometers up the road. Uh, we also have Toyota brand new and Lexus of Cairns, which is also brand new vehicles. Uh, without going too much further into that, I'll quickly jump over here to the 2020 Mazda BT50 XTR. Uh, now, just gonna go over pretty much any nicks, scratches, damage, anything on the paint that might concern you. Uh, if there is anything that concerns you at all, please just let us know as we can obviously have that touched up or painted if it uh, affects affects you majorly. Uh, just a quick look under the bonnet. Obviously really clean and tidy, only being a 2020. All nice and clean through there. As you can see, obviously the firewall under the bonnet is all intact and cleaned up. I'll just put this down. With these dark cars, normally you will see a uh, bit of scratching and everything, but I did have a quick look through this before I just jumped into the video and it is really clean. So as you can see, there's nothing that I can really point out on the bonnet just yet. There is a little, looks like a little stone chip just there. Obviously a very minor one. If that is obviously a major concern to you, let us know and we can uh, have that touched up. Come straight through the front bar here. You can see a little bit of uh, Looks like it's just a little bit of compound or something as that just scratched away with my fingernail. A uh, little bit of bird poo or something there and there. Uh, as you can see it in the shape of the front bar. Just get a quick look through the nudge bar and light bar as well. Coming straight down the front. Uh, nothing that I can really point out to you at this point. It all just seems to come off with my fingernail. Uh, come straight through this front uh, left hand guard. You can see there are some light scratching. I'll try and get a better angle of that. Maybe I'll cover myself with it, but you can see there is a light scratch through there. Um, as I said before, if it does affect you that much, uh, we can have that buffed out. And if it doesn't come out painted, uh, come straight down here. Nothing that I can really point out to you there. All right, I'll come straight through the front here. If I do miss anything uh, that you would like to know about the car in the video, please just let me know and we can, uh, I can go over that again for you. Nothing that I can really point out through here. Light little, little scratch through there in the paint. That came straight off my fingernail. All right, go straight through the top here. There are some, uh, seat covers sitting in the back here so they were probably on the car previously uh, quick look through this rear door nothing that I can really point out to you as I said the car is pretty clean for a for a black vehicle so come straight through the back of the tub here again nothing that I can really point out to you came straight off my finger as well as you can see all nice and straight down the side so never been in any accidents or anything like that uh, straight look through the tailgate here just a few water marks on the top here coming through the back again nothing that I can really point out got our tow bar down there uh, inside the tub obviously a few little Light scratches through the tub, just from, I guess, throwing things in the back. All right, I'll take it down the right-hand side now. Nothing that I can really point out to you there. A little scratch through here. Just coming through here, it just looks a bit dirty. Yeah, that all comes off with my finger now, so there is a fair bit of dirt through there, so we can obviously have that uh, cleaned up for you as well. Coming through here, I do notice a light scratch. Uh, came straight off my finger as well. Um, just 
here there is a bit of um, bit of a nick in the paint there as you can see come straight up through here looks like a bit of polished compound through here yeah come straight through this driver's side door again nothing that I can really point out a little uh, no, straight off with the fingernail as well same as those two there so all in all for a black car it's pretty tidy there is a scratch here through the front right hand guard and a very light scratch here as well is yeah it's all right i'll jump inside the car and we'll have a quick look through sorry i forgot to give you a look over the wheels and tires so as you can see plenty of tref lead and tref tread left in the tires sorry so i'll uh quickly take a look through the back here and a quick look under the underbody all clean under there as well no scratches or anything on those wheels which is good and that one there as well all right jumping through this back seat very nice and clean inside did have a just quick look through before couldn't really find anything to show you through here no no uh rips or anything in the fabric obviously the cushion and upholstery is all holding up well so uh, sorry i'll show you through this uh rear door card which is all clean as well this one open straight through this all clean sometimes you'll see some scratching or something through here but uh, with this one there doesn't seem to be any scratching or anything that I can point out uh, obviously a bit of fluff on the seats but you see it'll be detailed on delivery if you do decide to go ahead with the purchase uh, all nice through there we have got our Two spare keys, obviously they have updated these Mazda keys, so they've got an else design with them as well. We do have our service book in here that I will uh, pop open for you. I'll just quickly put you down for a second. Open this log book up and have a look through here. So obviously uh, just at Mariba Mazda, just up the hill from us, has had the first service completed. There is a second compartment there for anything that you're, I guess, storing in the car. I'll pop on over the driver's side and we'll start it up. Alright, sitting in the driver's side here, as you will see. Uh, obviously, our steering wheel controls will get us started up as it is pretty hot in cans at the moment, so a bit muggy as well. As you can see, it's probably gonna rain sometime today but as you can see steering wheel controls there and your cruise control on the other side here uh, also got our traction control and driving lights just there so obviously that spot spotties on ah uh, sorry spotties light bar on the uh, nudge bar uh, just the control the switch to that there sorry um, straight through here you can see our touch screen all in working order I'll chuck this radio on for you uh, so you can have a look, our stations are about 99.5 And I'll turn this up for you And as you can hear through that, there's no scratching or anything through the stereo system at all Come down here, obviously our dual control aircon, so you can control the temperature to the passenger side and also the driver's side which is a very handy feature for having uh, passengers in the car also we've got our two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive switch here which is just that switch so you can flick that um, as we're going into four-wheel drive also got our downhill ascent control and our diff lock at the back there as well so parking sensors on the other side here as well all right i'll give you a quick look through that dash see our hazard lights up here but uh, very clean through the dasher as well all right I'll switch it off 
obviously push start in these. Jump out and give you one last look over the car. So like I did say at the start, if there is anything that I've missed, just let me know and I'll, uh, I'll be happy to go over that for you. Um, and if there is any imperfections on the car that you're not happy with, just uh, let me know and we can obviously look to have that touched up for you. Um, that concludes my virtual tour, Vanessa. If you do have any other questions or anything, please don't hesitate to give me a call or a message and ask away. Thanks for watching.